So today is one of those fixing days. I've got, um, me, I mentioned in my last mini video that my welding mask has failed, or maybe not my last one, one of the recent videos. So I'm gonna grab it, I'll put it away in the box up there. I'm gonna grab it out and uh, pull it apart and have a look what's gone on. And then we can uh, see if we can fix it. So this welding mask I bought from Machine Mart about three or four years ago when I was doing a lot of work on the Mini. It's got in a bit of a state, I buy replacement uh, shields for these, so I need to get a replacement one of those. But also the auto darkening mechanism has stopped working. So I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna take this out, this assembly out here, the knob off here, and see if we can get into it. Because I've read a little bit about batteries failing and being able to change the batteries. So the first job is going to be to take this apart. So that was nice and easy. The, this is the frame that holds it into the uh, helmet. And um, this is the unit that auto darkens. You see it has a solar panel on the front and then the lens. It's in a bit of a state, so whilst I'm looking at this, I shall clean it up. So the next thing I need to work out is how I can get into it to have a look at batteries. Um, because what I suspect is, it's it the, the way these work is they charge uh, with a solar panel. Uh, when you're welding, it's charging the batteries. So for it to completely not work, I suspect the batteries have failed. So really simple to take out the helmet. There was four screws a nut that held the switch in place and the knob that just controls the um, the darkness and whether you can set it to the grinding setting or not so i'm going to try and have a look now to see if i can get into this so there we have it that is a nice little lithium ion uh, rechargeable battery pack it looks like a 2032 uh, a, a dual uh, or two of them stacked up it's got that little uh, tag soldered onto there um, welded onto there so I'm gonna see if I can under solder that tab from there and uh, get that removed and have a little look to see what, if I can find a replacement on the internet With the greatest uh, will and intentions rather than taking my time to find a replacement battery and soldering it all in again 11 pounds 71 to replace this whole unit i'll just replace that whole unit and then get i've also removed the um, lens cover protector i'm going to get a new one of those as well they're about a tenner so for 20 quid i'll get my welding mask back up and running again so the replacement parts have come from my welding mask as you can see there, I've already replaced that outer shield, which just clips in with these clips either side. That one's a little broken, but that that's going to make a world of difference because you can see quite clearly through there now. Whereas before, I'm trying to find where I've put it. It was all yellowed and burnt and in a bit of a state. So now I've got this piece, this replacement part of the mask with the little dial switch on. So that is a direct replacement for what was already fitted in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that put in and, and have a look, see how it works.
And that's it, all fixed. One welding helmet back in perfectly good condition. A slight difference with this item I've just installed here. It's got a little removable door on the battery, so if it fails again, I can um, I can replace the uh, replace the battery just by removing that door. So we'll see how it goes. I've got some welding planned at the weekend on the mini, so we'll see how it goes at that. Next video, hopefully, you'll see. You'll be um, no, it won't. Next one will be Volvo. Next one, one after that will be Mini. All the other way around. Anyway, welding mask back up and running.